I just don't see him making gains on getting that window net refastened. I'd hold on to it. it says it's got to be up. It's just too bad. You know what you can do. We're trying to talk to somebody about it. They should definitely let us put it up. Vince? Yeah, Ryan just came over the radio and said, I cannot get it back in myself. And I think Larry made a great point. We've all seen the window net put up, and it's usually the biggest, strongest crew member that actually attaches it and, and fastens it. So from inside, and Clint, you can speak to this, from inside the car, it's yeah. almost impossible to get done, and that's why Ryan can't get it uh, reattached. The rules require that the driver be able to release the window net from inside the car. Nothing about having to be able to attach. It. Well, let me get back into that. I said, you know, you want that window net as tight as possible for safety reasons. It's there for a reason to keep, you know, your extremities and everything inside the race car. That being said, it's Strap also around the roll bar, Ryan. arrow, and right? You that need way. that car to be tight and to uh, to keep that, that efficiency down the side of it. So he's got to try to do this. And remember, he has to maintain caution car speed while doing this. Otherwise, he'll forfeit the lead. And Mike, you said something earlier. Special event, special circumstances, special rules. I know the rule is he has to stay on the racetrack. He has to maintain caution car speed. But personally, that's me personally, I think they ought to let that man refasten that window net. I agree, <laughs> but I don't think they're going to. I mean, it's an unprecedented call to be able to do that, but it was pretty unprecedented to, to throw a caution right there. Well, let's go to our Ford Performance Cutaway car and let's show you what he's trying to do with that window net. Again, it has a rod that slides in the back side here, but right here you can see that faster. And that thing is really, really tight. It's like a quick release. And it takes a lot. It doesn't take much at all to get it released, but it takes a lot to get it fastened back. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I agree with you, Larry. I don't know. This is something that I've never had in this new job of mine, but I'm telling you, that ain't right. I, I think that they ought to help him get this window net back up. Well, for the longest time, uh, there was a line in the NASCAR rule book that would end in EIRI, except in rare instances. And I would agree with you too that this certainly qualifies as a rare instance. Now, he's got the Valco strap up there. If he can get that wrapped around and pull on it, that may create enough leverage to get that up and into position and hold it. What I did see, it's out of place on the backside at the top right now. That rod that I talked about that slides in, it doesn't look like it's in position. Well, get it somewhere wedged in there where the thing will stay up so you can get your mind back right. You got to get sharp. You got to get paying attention. Get these tires cleaned up. Focus on this restart. You need one launch. Get yourself going. Get ahead of this 11. Don't let him get on his door and take care of business. Win this race. It's not the best scenario you've no. been given by any means. But I want that kid right there to win this race. He deserves it. Brian Blaney had his pen in hand to sign the back of the check for a million dollars. And he the caution flag came out 100 or 200 feet before the line for a car at the back of the field in the wall outside turn two. We're going to go green, white, checker. And remember, the race must finish. The checkered flag must fall with the track in a green flag condition. Blaney back to business, trying to hold off Denny Hamlin. Austin Sindri, Daniel Suarez, Joey Logano, Chris Buescher, and more. One more restart. Maybe. Here we go. Got a lot of help behind him with his teammate, Austin Sindrick, pushing him to the lead. That's exactly what he needs. Don't let that 11 get to your outside. He's up. Sindrick might get a run on the bottom. Whoa, Blaney cleared Hamlin, but by inch. Needs those cars racing side by side behind him and has it. By three. Still side by side. 11 got clear up top. His White flag again. Come on, baby. Bring this thing around. Sendrick giving the 11 all Hamlin can handle. Well, Hamlin got a great run off turn two that time down the back straightaway. 
And wide open trying within three car lengths closing. Here they come to the line. The track is green. The checkered flag waves. Ryan Blaney fine wins the all-star race. Thank gosh that 